Because yours is doing some beep, beep, beep. Really? Yep. Okay. Oh, I have to. Beep. Yep. Testing. Yep, they can hear me. Okay, so mother, can you mute your uh, computer, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, guys, I see it's seven o'clock. Give me just a moment. I'm going to uh, set up my area with my paint and we'll get started. I'm going to let a few more people toggle in. Okay, guys. All right, I see a few more people are in. So glad you guys could make it. I'm gonna pull my screen down just a tad so y'all can see the reference point painting and my painting here as I guide you, okay? You know, while we wait, I'm also gonna turn on a little music. Um, any music requests, you can put them either in the comments or uh, mother, you can just yell out. <laughs> Santa Claus goes straight to the ghetto. So first request is Santa Claus goes straight to the ghetto, y'all. And we'll have that as soon as I uh, get to my title. I am so glad you guys could make it. <laughs> But I'm so glad to be here. Mama, I can see your thing. You don't have to say it. <laughs> Did y'all hear mom in the background? <laughs> <laughs> okay, people. Let me get my Bluetooth set up. Goodness. <laughs> I see you, Jarvita. Okay, let me see if I can get on the speaker. All right. My speaker's in connecting just yet, so give me a moment. Seven oh three. I'm gonna let a couple people toggle in. We need some music. <laughs> there we go. Santa Claus, go straight to the ghetto. <laughs> Hit up your ring. Can y'all hear that? <laughs> go straight to the ghetto. I don't know about y'all, but it's feeling like Christmas up and through here. Okay. So now my um, trim is dripping a little bit. That's actually some marshmallow cream. But um, I made my version of a liquid s'mores. So it has a little Tito's, a little Kahlua, a little Bailey's Irish cream. And um, on the trim, on the, uh, the um, you know, a little trim or whatever. I can, it's a little late. I can't think of the uh, academic word, but that's... Um, Marshmallow cream and some graham crackers. So, cheers. Let me know what y'all are drinking in the comments. You know, it's this uh, virtual sip and paint, right? If it's on the sip. 
All right, guys. It is now 7.04, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me turn James Brown down a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the sound. Okay. I'm going to bring this a little closer so y'all can see. Somebody give me a thumbs up in the comments if this is good. <laughs> Mommy drinking soda. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so I don't see anybody in the comments saying that they want that. Oh, they want the, they want that drink. Tell them to hire me. <laughs> they know what my rate is. Brother said crown and ginger. Crown and ginger. That's a good drink. All right, y'all. So we're going to start. Take your largest brush. We're going to start on the background first. Take your largest brush and dip it in some water. And if you have a napkin, lay it on the napkin to get some of that excess water off. What we're going to do is create a little night sky. Now, you can make it as dark as you want, or you can still keep it a little blue. But what's going to, uh, what's going to be the deciding factor in that is how much black you put in the blue. So your main color dip this in the blue and for the nice guy what I'm going to do is just a little corner of the um, paintbrush into the black because one thing about black now remember this throughout the night black goes a long way so you really don't need much of it to darken the color so the darker you want to go the more black you're going to put in um, but if you want to keep it like, like a true blue do more blue. And if you even want your background to be a little more white, just add a little dab of white. But black is a color that you don't need a lot of. So remember that throughout the night. So let's go ahead. Which one first? Another blue and black. Blue and black. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> so what you're going to do is take that brush and go straight across. You can do back and forth strokes if you like. And while you're doing that, make sure you get a little bit on the edges. So that's also covered. Matter of fact, um, use what I like to call the residual paint. So you're going back and forth here. All that residual paint that's on the brush, you can take that and go on the top like this. All right. Now we're going to keep the darkest part. Also go on the side if you have a little residual left. Um, always use a residual paint for this. You don't want to waste too much of the primary paint on the edges. You just want to make sure that they are covered and there is no white. But hey, if you want a little white, that's okay. Because remember, this is your painting and you have whatever creative license you want, okay? It's buffering. It's just check. It's oh, no. Yeah, my hand is just twirling. Okay. Hey guys, I heard it's buffering. Um, is it so? Bu is it buffering for the rest of you? I'm gonna just keep going. Yeah. All right, guys, keep going down with that black and blue, and slowly make your way down, but not all the way down. So you should be here now. And the further down you go the less black you're going to use. So I'm still dabbing a little bit of my blue. A time, I'm still dabbing my blue as my main color and still putting in a little corner of that black to make that night sky. And remember, that residual paint is going to go on the sides. Still black right now? Yep. Oh, my God. Just keep going. I just texted you. Okay. Keep on going. You may have to log in and log out. Okay. Just hit the refresh. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody else having issues? It keeps me all the way up. Okay. Hold on. Going back to the actual link. This site cannot be reached. Check the network cable. That's what it's saying. Okay. Is 
Is it barfing for you? No. Then keep going. Maybe other people can do it. I'm barfing. Okay. Hey guys, I just put a message in the thing because I'm hearing that there are a couple of you that um, it may be buffering on your side. So I'm going to slow down just a tad so those who are behind can catch up. All right. Now remember, use that residual paint to get the side of that canvas and use your primary on the front side. And remember, as we go down, we're going to use less black in that blue. How are we doing? Somebody tell me their progress in the comments. Okay. All right. Now, as we get down to about the second, third, let's just incorporate just some of the blue by itself. It's okay if some of that black mixes in. I think I'm gonna put a little black in mine. Again, you know, it's your painting. So if you wanted this to just be straight up blue, you could do that. But I for one want a night sky with mine. So I'm gonna incorporate this black. Hey, mom, were you able to get back in? Nope. Oh gosh. You said it's not buffering. Oh, so she's good. Yeah. All right, y'all. Keep mixing in that blue and that just that tad bit of black if you like. Oh, I think I'm gonna turn this song up. It's kind of jazzy. That's a jazzy one. I gotta add that to my playlist, y'all. Let me see who that was. Hold on. Oh, I like that. Oh. All right. Glad to see that y'all are still good, doing good over there. All right. Now, as we get down to into that lower third, we're going to start incorporating a little white. So I'm going to do, I'm painting, still adding in that black here, but we're going to start incorporating that white because eventually we're going to put in your snowy bottom. Tell them they can put that in the... Uh... The comments if the music is loud. That's what I'm going off of. Um, I'm going to turn the music down because I heard it was overpowering me a bit. So, you know, I just really like that song. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Keep incorporating that blue, and then I'm going to show you how to incorporate your white in a moment. I just want some more of my blue a little lower. That way, when we put in the snowman, there's some room to build. So keep up with that, just that blue. And if you so choose to have some of that black in, put some of that black. <laughs> also if you haven't commented yet make sure you leave a comment on there so i know you've checked in because as some of y'all saw on the event bright we have some raffles coming up so if you register via event bright there might be something that uh might be a surprise waiting on you
All right, you guys. So go ahead and start cleaning off your brush to get out a lot of that um, the black and the blue. Because now we're going to start incorporating our white. Now, for this part of the uh, project, if your snow has a bit of blue in it, that's okay. Um, the blue actually adds a little bit of that, um, that frosty feel. And not only that, um, the blue is especially going to be important when you are creating your snowman. Because you want the snowman to stand out from the snow. So what's going to help you with that is the blue color. Okay, I see y'all still doing good. Where's my drink? I think I need a little sip. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> me too, mama, me too. <laughs> All right, people. Let's start incorporating some of that white. So... Get some white on your brush. Now, we're still using the wide brush, your bigger brush. And what I want you to do is take that brush. You're going to create a heel going up and then a swoop down and then back up at the end. So up, down, and then up. If you notice, I started where my blue is at the very end to get some of that blue onto my white landscape. Now, remember what I said about residual paint? You want to use that on the side of your canvas. No part of this canvas will go unpainted. Now, that's one rule. That's not up for discussion. <laughs> now, granted, you can paint your landscape part any way that you feel like. If you decide you want one big old heel, that's fine. But I, for one, like to add a little razzle down. So you know what I'm saying? My mountain speaks cursive. All right. Now, as you um, keep creating your landscape, just continue to add some more white. And again, it's okay if there's a little blue in that landscape. And don't try to make the lines perfect within the snow. Because if you ever have been in a snowy climate, snow doesn't have any continuity to it. You know, it just falls wherever and no snowflake is the same. But keep going with that white. All you need is white right now. No other color. And just take it on down to the end. Make sure you're going like kind of like in the shape of your landscape. But it's okay if you want to take it and maybe do some like the joint, uh, the jointed strokes like that. It's all right. It adds a little character. Again, that um is you can do that according to your per, your personal taste for how you want your snow to look. How we doing, y'all? Talk to me. Mom, you are right over there. <laughs> yes. You sure that's your soda you drink? Yes. <laughs> so good. Okay. If you notice, I'm adding a little variety to how I'm doing my strokes. Sometimes they're smooth and all the way across. Sometimes I'm going back and forth like this. It's just to add, you know, what I call a little razzle-dazzle. Um, some of you might call it variety. <laughs> Texture. <laughs> All 
All right, and I'm gonna actually go over my uh, line up here a little more, just to really make sure that it's separate from that sky hole. Oh, thank you, babies. <laughs> my niece and nephew are tuned in with us, you guys. <laughs> I hope everybody's excited for the holiday season, no matter what um, you celebrate or what your traditions may be. I'm very excited. What are some traditions you and your families do? Um, talk to me in the comments, y'all. Okay. All right. So guys, you're, you should be at this point. If not, you know, just keep working a little bit. Sorry, I'm a bit parched. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet. Sorry. It's okay if you laugh, but we're having a good time. This is not formal. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, does everybody have a hair dryer? If not, you're going to have to or fan it. But I got my hair dryer. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dry the background a little bit because when we create our swirl, you do want some of that blue from the background to incorporate in these uh, wind dust but not too much. What it is, you want the ends of the white to kind of disappear. So if you notice mine, um, they start out very defined and then they start to thin. So let's go ahead and spray them. Sit here, got a medium. Hello to everybody on the live. Yeah. Guys, mom wanted to say hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I just wanted it to be dry enough to where so much of the blue wouldn't get into my little uh, moon or what. Um, I kind of, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> this is very suggestive. Um, What's well, up, uh, subjective, excuse me. It can be either a moon, a star, or as my uncle described, a vortex about to suck Frosty away because this is 2020. So it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> All right, so for your moon, wind gust, vortex, you wanna take your medium sized brush. Now, if you don't have a medium sized brush, it's okay. You can still use this bigger brush, but just take your time. So I'm gonna dip mine in just a little bit of water. Matter of fact, um, y'all might wanna go dump your water because mine is very, very blue as you can see. So I'm gonna give everybody like a minute or two to go dump your water and come back. Okay. 
To like this one too. I like this song. Very jazzy. Um, after the swivel. All right, folks. So we're gonna start on your little uh, swivel. Oh wait, I did not get the size of my canvas. Hold on a second. <laughs> That's unacceptable. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Breaking my own rule. Okay, I feel better now. All right, well, folks. So, take your medium-sized brush. Make sure you wet it just a tad. You don't have to saturate it and take off all the excess with your napkin. I want you to take some of that white, like this, and just a little tiny dab of yellow, if you have it. If you don't, that's okay. But you see how tiny that little dab of yellow is? You can barely see it. I want you to take that and somewhere around that top towards the left, I want you to start a circle. Make that circle. Joy to the earth, the and make sure you don't see any glue behind the circle. This is going to be the center. If you got to add a little more yellow, that's fine. But just do a little dab, you know, a little dab. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely take six. That has to be take six. They sing totally a cappella. All right. When you're done making your circle and it's laid enough to where you're not seeing blue, you're going to take that white. Let me see how I hand it over here. You're going to take that white. You're going to start here and make your first swivel. And it's okay if the paint runs out because remember, it's more like a wind gust. If you want to go over it one more time, that's okay. And you're going to continue to do that until you have spirals coming from pretty much each direction. It's okay if they're not perfect. Because as we know, wind has no shape anyway. So just keep on going. And remember, it's okay if it runs out. If you want to take some of that residual paint and take it downward into the uh, spiral, you can do that too. Ms. Pearl says she's having a blast. Thank you for having this kid. You're welcome, Miss Pearl. I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> okay. Woo. And it's okay if they're not all the same size, y'all. It's all right. Mine are never the same size. <laughs> but just keep going. Just keep building on that ripple like that. And just make sure that you're taking it in the direction, um, in a curved direction. So every time you add, just keep going. It's okay if it cuts off and all that. 
stretching out, waiting to hear me cry. I need hope, I need you to need me. Some of y'all still haven't told me what you're sipping on. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no and then you can take it in between some and do this here. So I do that too sometimes. Oh, I almost dip back in my yellow. All right, guys. And now you have your winter vortex. That's what we're going to call it. It just seems fitting. <laughs> Okay, I gotta like this song too. I like that one. A child is waiting, praying, whatever said. Let me see who all is in here. Hello. All right, guys. So when you're done with your swivel, winter vortex, moon, star, um, just take your um, blow dryer and go ahead and dry it. Something is in it. Yeah, I hear it. Wait a minute, it break? I don't think it broke. Maybe it sucked up something. Oh Jesus! I I don't need for this to go out. I, I, this is my blow dryer. This is my look, this is my good blow dryer. Wait a minute. <laughs> We just gonna put this on a low blow and medium heat until I figure out what that was. I don't need really to do it. Turn this off. I'm kind of scared of it now. All right, I'm gonna turn mine towards you all, and I am going to take a little sip. Good lord, I'm gonna have to rethink this marshmallow cream next time. <laughs> but it's good. Y'all got the book me so y'all can eat this. Oh, well, drink this. Excuse me. Mmm. So guys, to bring a little context clue, excuse them. Uh-oh. Hold on a second, guys. I just got a note, uh, note by my connection. Okay. Hey, guys, give me a thumbs up in the comments um, if y'all can still hear and see me because I got a little note that the connection was going out a bit. I'm good. I'm going to wait for a few more of our other folks. Well, no one has said they can't um hear that they, they they're um, having any issues, so I'm going to continue. So to bring a little joy, we have a raffle. So let's see who's going to get the first door prize. I'm so excited. Who's getting a little extra joy this season? All right, put that box over here. Lauren Foley. Is Lauren Foley logged in? I don't see her. I don't see her. You don't see her? Okay. Lauren, I'm going to give you, if you're logged in, because not everybody's commented, um, I'm going to give you five minutes. If not, um, we're going to do the draw uh, the drawing again. Thank you for the thumbs up, uh, Jarvita. All right. So, Lauren, you got five minutes to let me know that you're in. If not, 
I have to do the drawing for someone else for the first. There is a second drawing at the end, but y'all got to be logged in to win these prizes. Was that you or me? I heard that doo-doo. Oh, that's you. Okay. Oh. All right, y'all. Can what? What do you mean? All right, y'all. So we're going to start on the snowman. Mama, if you can let me know when it's like 7, because I'm, I'm sure two minutes have passed. Okay. Can you let me know when it's 7.38? Okay. <laughs> Draw me the set next, <laughs> LOL, Draw me. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 738. Then at 738, if she has not um said anything, then we will draw again. Okay, I don't know who this is on title, but they got to go. Yeah. Goodbye. I'll do Ella and Louis Armstrong. I ain't got time. All right, y'all. So we are going to start on our snowman. So for the snowman, instead of, you know how we did the blue with the little dab of black? This time we're going to do the white with a little dab of blue. Because remember I said earlier how you need the blue to separate the snowman from the white snow. Okay. Let me show y'all how to do this technique. Who is texting me during this presentation? Wait a minute. Oh. Child. All right, so take that white. We're back using our big brush, so make sure you clean this enough to where there's not an abundance of blue in the um the paintbrush, okay? Take that white. I'm going to do a little more white. And take that dab of blue. So your paintbrush should look the equivalent of this. Make sure that the way that you're going to do the circle, you have the blue position to where it's going to be on the outline. Okay? First, you're going to do your biggest circle. That should be down in the snow. So I'm going to take mine and I'm going to swivel like this. Now it's okay if there's a lot of blue because you're going to have to mix that in and keep it that circular motion, okay? Who are you adding to that pot? Who are you to add it to that pot? They have a surprise box for the kids. They have, oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> so I'll do a kitty raffle and then I'll do a grown folk raffle. You heard that, kids? <laughs> okay, so you should have a circle that kind of looks like this on your page. Now, y'all, I know what y'all saying. That looked more like an ice circle than a snow circle. But the way that we combat this, add more whites. So you're going to go over what you just did. Still incorporating some of that blue that's on the canvas. And you're going to keep going around in that circle. Until you have what looks like a sphere. So you see how I'm incorporating more white and it's becoming whiter? Keep adding in that white, y'all. Can you play another song? You need more water, Mom. Okay. All right, y'all. Keep doing the circle. Keep circling. Mine is a little off right now. All right, I'm actually dumped. I'm not going to dump. I'm going to clean my brush a little bit because I have more blue on my brush than um, I need it. So I'm just going to clean that off, dry it off, add some more white. Mm. 
what it is, you want to have enough glue to where you can pick out the sphere of the little body of the snowman from the snow. But if you don't do this, your snowman is not going to be visible. And because your vortex is here, make sure your darker part is down below. So, it, you know, it makes sense. I'm going to take some of this blue and outline my circle because I can see on the camera that my circle is not defined enough in one of the areas. So I'm going to make it more defined using some of that blue. That's okay, Frosty Wild Side. You can be on the gasoline. It's all right. <laughs> Just like Sam had to go to the ghetto, Frosty had to go to the ghetto too. Oh, there's a song request this Christmas by PJ Martin. Oh, you trying to get a little uh, <laughs> little bounce? No, he's still trying to get that bounce music. <laughs> I will oblige. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, yeah, I will oblige over Christ. <laughs> that's the word of the week ever since that episode of Ready to Love. Yeah. David, I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo wee. He's going to be the target gift card. Lord have mercy. My mama just giving stuff away, child. All right. Let me turn on some PJ. And you know what? This is the perfect time because we're going to redo this raffle. Are we doing two kitty raffles? No. Okay. Two adults, two kitty. I'm going to turn this up a bit. Okay, we're going to have a little dance break, okay? I think we need a little dance. Hey! What? What? Hey! I have officially become that auntie at the party. Go, mama! Go, mama! <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Marshmallow, Y'all better be dancing. chance to win at the end. All right. So for the kitty raffle, our first winner, K. 
Kelvin Mark Bazil the third. You won a surprise box. Congrats, boo boo. Woo! Go, Kelvin. Okay. For our next adult prize, we have. Tyrone Austin. Woo! Woo! Tyrone, are you there? Hey, Andrew, I see you, girl. <laughs> Tyrone, let me know you're in the house. Next. You said next. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's in here. Because it says it's six people. Well, look at uh, Vita. Why are you dancing? Because of next. <laughs> next. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jarvita Massey. <laughs> That was not done on purpose. Oh, Kids are crying. Kids are crying. Oh. Right. <laughs> she cried. Congrats, Darvita. <laughs> so, Miss Darvita Massey, you just won a Clinique gift set. Woo! <laughs> All right, y'all. Now, children, don't you weep. There is another raffle at the end, okay? We got to make it to the end of our project. Adults, there is one more prize for you, too. So we'll see who our lucky winner is. Oh, oh, baby. She's so mad. Oh, she's so mad. So All right, y'all. So, Mark, you said the temptations. Uh, you're welcome. This is for you, Mark. Dancer. And Prancer and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, and Donner, and Blitzen. You better sing it, Mark. The red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you never saw it, you would even say it glows. All I dance break, dance break. Y'all better be up and dancing with your drinking hand. Hmm? Just keep out of my way, ma. And just clean your brush. I did. I changed it. It's a new brush. Hey, Rudolph. Mm -mm. Hey, Rudolph. You go down in history. Hey. All right, brother. I'm going to turn it down so we can um, move on. Because y'all know me. I love me some music. I be to get caught up the rest of the night listening to these old jams. Now, if you're circled, if you're satisfied with your circle, we're going to move on to the stomach. And it's the same concept. White. With a just a dab. A dab of blue. Just a dab. You don't want too much because blue in this white kind of works how that black works. 
in the blues. Goes a long way. Just a dab. See, mama? Just a little dab. That's actually a little too much, but I'm going I'm to work it. Now, do you want to make a circle that's slightly smaller than the, bo ooh, the bottom? I'm going to make my bottom bigger. Oh, well. My frosty is going to be big built. <laughs> <laughs> he just gonna be big built, okay. He he's stocky. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> That's a thick frosty man. <laughs> That's a thick frosty. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me add a little more blue at the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> frosty is thickums. <laughs> Y'all see my frosty? <laughs> frosty, frosty, mama, tipsy. Frosty, mama is not tipsy. Don't even put that in the atmosphere. <laughs> I, I put it in the comments. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Frosty is thick. Frosty is a plus size woman. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I can't let Frosty go out like this, y'all. I got to read him. <laughs> so I'm going to just go over it with a little bit of a little white. Let me fix Frosty. Your frosty need rehab. <laughs> Your frosty Eddie Kane. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. So once you are satisfied with the body of your snowman or woman, because again, this is your painting, and Frosty can be whoever you want Frosty to be. We are going, um, I would say clean your uh, brush off a little bit, because again, you don't want too much blue. And because it's a smaller circle, you definitely don't want to put, don't want to put too much blue in this, because now we're getting into the night sky. So you're not going to need as much blue, because that white is going to, um, stand out from that background. Matter of fact, you may uh, be safe not putting any blue in the um, the head of Frosty. And one way you can make a perfect circle is by taking your brush and just holding it like this and then just taking it around. So basically, you know, the flick of that wrist. Y'all know that song, look at the flick of that wrist, that. <laughs> And remember, your circles overlap because Frosty is layered. You don't want to add a circle on top of some circle, top of circle. Letting them overlap a, letting them overlap a bit adds depth to your uh, painting. And it's okay if the head gets a little blue, but not too much because honestly, you, you don't really need it. You know what, the back is a little blue on that outline. Just a tad, just a little tad. And then feed it through the little head. So, take that brush, do just a, a tad bit of blue, just a tad. <laughs> Mama, whatever, I just saw your message. <laughs> Frosty is plus size. <laughs> but y'all see how I took just a little bit of blue and I fed it into Frosty? 
Just a little bit. Somebody calling me on the duo. So who calling me on the duo? <laughs> really? Is he? Yes. <laughs> Polo. <laughs> all right, people. So I'm going to give you all a little time to keep making your circles. Uh, I'm going to add a little more white to this middle part because it's very blue. She gonna be bad. Tell her she better get happy. She gonna be alright. She gonna win with her drink. Right. She All right, I'm going to give you all a little more time to um, keep making your frosting. But I understand that we have some little people that are that have joined us. So what I'm going to do is do another kitty drawing, okay? So my little joy box, box of joy. Shake up. Woo! Oh, and the winner is Kenzie. You won a surprise box. Woo! Yay, Kenzie. <laughs> All right, y'all keep on making your frosties. <laughs> this picture of Oh, look at his picture. He said he's finished. Oh, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> she is so mad. Thank you. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm trying to find Bowtown Christmas. Yes, hurry. I like that. <laughs> you said it already. One horse will be slain over the years we go. That's that smoky Robinson, y'all. To add more white to this right? Mm-hmm. Jingle bell. Jingle bell. Smokey, y'all. Made me want to do what the old divas used to do. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever, that's that padding. Does she kick off them shoes, child? <laughs> Patty, my girl, yeah, I love being some Patty. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing about her. <laughs> All right, good people. So we're going to start on Frosty's face. 
Now for Frosty's face, you want a small brush. Don't have a small brush, that's okay. Use your pinky. And if you use your pinky, put your pinky in that black, but do just a little bit, just a tad. A tad. And you're gonna use that to do his eyes. But I don't like to get dirty like that, so I'm gonna use my brush. So dip that in the water. Make sure it's clear. Little tap, tap, tap. Rub it on your napkin. Dip the tip of that brush into that black, just the tip. And I want you to do two eyes of coal for Frosty. But don't put them smack dab in the middle. Put them a little like, not catty corner, but like a little shifted because the corn, not the corn, excuse me, the carrot that's going to be his <laughs> nose. <laughs> It's going to be pointed. So it's almost like Frosty's looking off into the distance. Okay? Got it? <laughs> I'm going to go over my eyes just a little bit because I do want them to be a little more circular. It's okay if that white mixes in because all you need to do is take a little more black and just go over it. Because remember, black goes far. Now, we're going to do Frosty's mouth. Now, you don't have to dip your brush like I do, but I just like to make sure there's any excess paint off that may have some white in it from when I did Frosty's, eye, uh, Frosty's eyes. So we're going to do the tip of that brush again. And we're going to start... I need y'all to visualize Frosty smile, okay? So you're gonna start up, then go down, and then come back up again. Almost like an elongated U or like a bowl. All right, so I'm gonna start mine about here. And then I'm gonna keep going. One way to keep your circles kind of small and nice and concise, take that brush and just put it in the middle and just kind of wiggle it a little bit. Or wiggle it in a circular motion. Okay, not too much wiggling. With their eyes all, aglow. all right. So now we have Frosty's eyes and Frosty smile. Now clean off that brush. For Frosty's carrot, you're gonna need some orange paint. Now I don't have orange paint, so what two colors make orange? I hope y'all are saying yellow and red. Let me know you know how to make your secondary colors in the comments. <laughs> now, maybe you don't have yellow and red. Just use the blue and create a blue carrot. It's okay. It's still going to look good. All right. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this little brush. Matter of fact, I'm going to take the end of this brush and I'm going to start mixing this red and this yellow right smack dab in the middle. And I'm gonna mix it until it's a red that I uh, orange that I like. Now don't mix all your orange and yellow together because from what I've noticed, I noticed that if I just put uh, red inside the yellow, it makes an orange that I like. Sometimes when you put the yellow inside the red, it's it's more like a red orange. Because again, like when you have lighter colors versus darker colors, that darker color or that more pronounced color is always going to take over that lighter color. <laughs> Yours look like, looks like Beetlejuice. <laughs> I got to see this. <laughs> All right, once it is an orange, once you have orange that's to your liking, see, that's my orange, but I still have a little bit of my red here, and I have a little of my yellow here if I want to use it later. Mm -hmm. 
All right, wipe off that end of your brush. Dip that skinny brush into that orange. And you're gonna make a triangle. But it's gonna be a triangle laying on its side. If you're a math guru, we call that an acute triangle. Black, it's just black coat. Now that orange is going to go on a little thin. Just keep packing it on in layers. Don't bear down too hard because it might reveal the background because that um, white is still trying to dry. Just light. All right, so that note that um, I like the carrot, my carrot. When you are done with the carrots. We're going to give it a little chance to dry before we go over it. So we're going to focus on Frosty's arms. Now, Frosty's arms don't take too much to do. Thank you, Miss Pearl, for letting us know what makes orange. <laughs> I was waiting on somebody to tell me what color they make. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use brown for Frosty's arms. Now, again, if you don't have this color, that is perfectly okay. You can use blue. Um, and I would suggest mixing the blue with a little black to make his arms if you don't have brown. Um, you know, you can use pretty much any color. But because, again, this is your painting. This is your masterpiece. It does not have to look like mine. Um, oh, my. <laughs> Yours doesn't look like mine for other reasons. <laughs> I think dad gave me this skin. <laughs> so I'm going to take my brown. And again, we're taking that little brush because you're going to create a line. So in this one, I'm going to make Frosty waving. So I'm going to take his arm down and this up. And then do like a little twig situation here for his hands. Oh, how do I get this red on me? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not on this shirt, absolutely not. <laughs> red and blue, brown, right? No, red and blue, brown. Right? No, red and blue makes purple, my boy. Make it brown over here. It's making brown. Like a burgundy. Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Mom, you, you gonna give maroon arms? <laughs> Mom, <laughs> this why you just see this why you don't teach kindergarten. <laughs> red and all, y'all, red and blue, baby. What color? <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. Mom, <laughs> Mom, <laughs> you're a timeout. <laughs> you are a timeout, man. <laughs> Just so Frosty's waving, you know, in this line, you can just go over it as many times as you like. But don't go over it too many times because you don't want uh, Frosty to look buff. I know mine is plus size, but these arms are going to be sticks. And to make it a little thicker, I'm just um, layering on the paint. Now, my I noticed that my hands are kind of in the blue. So Frosty's hands are disappearing a bit. So once I finish his other arm, I'm going to go over. Uh-oh, Stevie. Hey, y'all know I love some Stevie Wonder. I love it so. This arm is going to be downward. Here you go. Hey. Sing it, mama. I was trying to make brown. <laughs> we're on blue, red, and blue. Red, yellow. Red, yellow. 
Mother, do you want my crown? I'm saying me. I'm trying to help her. Because she over here thinking red and blue make brown. No, I did not. I said, anyway. <laughs> It'll make a maroon. Maybe if you add more. Uh, I got my brown. Okay. She got her brown, y'all. Everything is fine over here. All right. So remember, I was telling y'all how that my hand is uh into it's like it's in the background. So his fingers are like disappearing. Well, guys, this is a snowy skate. And does the snow land on any surface? I'm gonna put a little snow on his hands. Matter of fact, Ross is gonna be holding the snowball. So I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna put a snowball in his hands. See, that's how you make uh turn lemons into lemonade, all right? Can I get an amen? I amen. think I just gave a word. Hallelujah. Just before daylight, and all these things more, baby. Oh, that's what Christmas means to me, my love. Oh, baby, baby. There you go. Frosty, ready for a snowball fight. He is ready for a snowball fight, baby. Okay. All right. So once you finish Frosty's arms, we're about to do Frosty's hat. You still trying to make the arms show? Okay. <laughs> they just sticks. <laughs> Mom, they just sticks, though. Like, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I see a comment. Oh. That's right, Jarvita. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Andrew, the word. The word. And it was dry. It was dry. Y'all don't understand. That's a, um, uh, a joke between us. <laughs> All right, let me adjust this light. Y'all know how I feel about my. Oh, my arms. Frosty got burgundy arms. Okay. All right, y'all. So for Frosty's hat, let's dip back into this black. And I want you to go a little, maybe about an inch or two above Frosty's head. I want you to go straight across like this, but don't go past the sides of Frosty's head, okay? And you're gonna create a little box like this, all right? Create a square. Just create a square. Yeah, I have a bra. Oh my God, mom. <laughs> Now for the bill of his head, the little part right here, not the band. We ain't doing the band yet. The little bill. I need y'all to have a, just to use a little bit of your technique. I know y'all got a little technique. I want you, matter of fact, make a triangle. So start a triangle in the middle of your square. Go down like this, a little past Frosty's head. Take the other side, start in the middle here. Go down just a little bit past Frosty's head. Try to line it up with the other side a little bit. And then make a line straight across like so, connecting the two ends of the hat. And then fill it in. That's okay if a little white gets in there. Because if you have a dark back background like mine, um, the hat is going to uh, slightly disappear. But it's okay because we can line the hat with a little snow. So fill that hat in all the way. <laughs> all right, y'all. Here we 
All right. And that's going to need a little time to dry, y'all, before we put the little ribbon on his hat, okay? Well, um, the ribbon and the snow, because we're going to put a little snow so his hat stands out. So clear off that brush. Is my fingers on there right here? Yeah, just like two little big fingers. Okay. All right. So let's do Frosty's buttons and then his scarf, and then we'll move back to the hat. So take that skinny brush again, dip it in that black. If you want to use a different color, you can. You know what? I like Kwanzaa. So Frost is getting a red button, a black button, and a green button. <laughs> so for the buttons, now this you're going to put straight down the middle. And you're going to do it the same way you did the eyes and the cold. You're going to take that tip of that brush, put it where you want it, wiggle it around. You can do as many buttons as you like. I'm just going to do three. All right, y'all. How we doing out there? We doing good. We doing all right. And that green. Yeah, we've been working hard. I need to sleep. I think I'm, look, y'all, I got to rethink the marshmallow, but I'm going to figure it out. I think I may have put too much. It's okay, though. Y'all, so we can. Oh, my hat is crooked. Wait a minute. Y'all, Frost, why y'all tell me Frosty hat was on a gangster lean? <laughs> I can't tell. Wait, I thought you wanted it like that. It no, I wanted to. I don't want to tip it. Frosty is not out the bound. It's going to be tilted. I'm not. No. I will. It's my painting and I'll do what I want. Okay. So we can get started on Santa's, uh, Santa, Frosty's, uh, the lace on his hat. I'm going to uh, use my blow dryer and uh, dry the hat a little bit so I can show you how to do the lace. How y'all doing out there? In the words of Erica Badu, sisters, how y'all feel? Brothers, y'all all right? <laughs> y'all drinking water, Jarvis? <laughs> well, that's fine, I guess. It is a sipping paint. You can sip what you want. I think I need to move a little closer to y'all. Okay. 
Okay. He looks sad. He looks sad. He looks sad. He looks sad. All right, guys. So we're going to do the lace part. Take that medium sized brush again. And this time, let's dip it in some red. Not too much, but just enough to cover this black. Now, remember what I said about black? It goes a long way. So if you get black in this red, you know, it's okay. You can still go over it, but you're going to have to keep using the red and try to stay within the same line as you go. So we're going to start here. From the edge of the hat to the bottom. So you want the lace to sit where the square and part of the triangle meet. So I'm using red, Mom. You can use red or whatever color you like. You can use white. Um, any variation of maybe like light blue or something, if you have blue, green, any of that. But you definitely want a color that's going to stand out from the black. So that's why I chose red. Try to stay within that same line as much as possible. You want a very clean line when creating the lace for frosting. Of this red. Okay, I like that. I'm satisfied. Now, once you do the lace, we're going to do Frosty's scarf. Now, my my Frosty, I like him to have a little style. So the lace, the color, same color I use for the lace in his hat, I'm going to use for his scarf. So I'm going to keep this red. Now, the way you want to do the scarf, take that medium-sized brush. You're going to take it, and you're going to go right along the, like the perimeter of um, Frosty's head, okay? And remember, because Frosty's head is turned, I'm making the other end slightly smaller. And then I'm going to make like a little, not a square, but I'm going to take the brush in a different direction for the part where Frosty's scarf is going to be tied. So here, I'm taking the brush like this. Swoop. Here, I uh, used the very end of the, end of the brush. And I went down like this, like so. And I worked Tabitha Brown like so, like that. And I'm making a little square here, like a little curve. All right. Now for the swoop, you want to just kind of take it and go like that. You could take it any direction. You could take it down and curl a little bit. But Frosty got a little swoop going on with his little swoop action. All right. 
Now you don't want the end of that to disappear because it's a scarf. So it's not supposed to be like see-through. It's not how our wind is gonna be. The scarf is a solid object, so you don't want to see through that. All right. Now I'm going to create frost these little knots. And pretty much, you're just making like a little half square in the middle. So nothing too, it's not, you know, nothing too crazy. I'm going to bring the example. So I just kind of outlined the sides and the bottom and that was it. And that's how we're going to create this knot. So take that skinny black brush, I mean a skinny brush, and dip it in that black paint. All right, buddy. And just outline where that knot is on Frosty Star. If you don't have the skinny brush, take that medium sized brush, dip the black on the very end, so like this. And then you could just stamp it. So, like one, two, three. Very simple. Okay. Y'all still with me out there? Hey. All right. Once you finish outlining the star, we're going to outline this carrot. So take that skinny brush again, dip in this in black. And outline your carrot. Be very careful. Outline a carrot. And then we're going to put a little stripes in the carrot because carrots have bridges. There we go. All right, mine is a bit imperfect, but it's okay. Because carrots are perfect. All right, how y'all doing out there? Do we need another dance break? Y'all must really be working hard because y'all haven't talked to me on the chat in a little minute now. You okay, Mama? Wow! I'm being creative. All right, people. So once you have finished your hat, you have outlined your carrot, you created Frosty's um, scarf and everything, 
Now we can make some little winter trees in the snow here. So I'm gonna use green, but you don't have to use green. You can use a little blue. Um, you could even make more like little snowballs to the side or something and do that. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do trees. I was gonna make some snowballs, but I'm like, eh, trees are fine. You know what? Let's take a poll. Should I do little trees? Or I put a little pile of snowballs to Santa's left. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'll wait. <laughs> what you think, mama? Snowballs or I'm little doing trees? Trees and snowballs. Trees and snowballs? Okay, you are quite adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you answered. Green is good, mommy. What's the color of Monday? Y'all, y'all gotta tell me. Y'all want me to do some snowballs next to Frosty or some trees? Know what? Go with the trees. I'm gonna do snow. I'm gonna do a little tree. But I'm gonna do some snowballs. So we'll start with the little tree. For the little tree, take your small brush, dip it in the green. And honestly, so let's make some Bob Ross trees. Bob Ross? <laughs> oh, is Bob Ross that, the white guy with the afro? I don't know. I think he's the white guy with the afro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Darby. <laughs> trees. trees. Mark, what kind of trees you talking about? <laughs> oh my God. Your mother is in here. I love you, Mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've seen trees twice. So I'm going to do trees. So take the green and that little brush. All you're going to do is make a symbol like that. So do, do. So pretty much, if you remember in math, the sign's greater than, um, like, what was it? Greater than, equal to. Greater than, less equal than. to, and less than. So you had the two little things that look like a little Pac-Man. You're basically creating those, but turning them this way. That's what you're doing with the trees. So you're just taking that. And then as you go down, you're going to make that wider. And I'm making little small trees. So it's like they're peeking out through the snow. And it's okay if they're slightly um, see-through. I'm going to put one up here too. And you can put as many trees or as little trees as you like. I'm just going to do a few because I don't want it to take away from Frosty. Oh, shoot. You know what? Let's just add a little tree here down in the corner. Why not? I think that'll be cute. You stack the little bees. I got, I got a little marshmallow on my finger. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a nap. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you ain't see what your son said, mama. 
Oh, this is back for <laughs> I should have put something in uh, 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 frosty hand that wasn't a stove. Oh, <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to give you another minute or two to finish up your trees and if you're still working on frosty. And then we're actually going to go into the very last step. Um, if you don't have any glitter paint or like silver paint, that's fine. Um, you can just keep yours as is. But we're going to do this last step. We are going to do a raffle, the final adult raffle. And, you know, we will see each other next time. So y'all give me a thumbs up when you're ready to add in your, uh, your glitter or your silver. Oh, yeah. I mean, you add in an emoji. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll help my mama. She don't know how to comment on YouTube. <laughs> you said thumbs up? Yeah, give me a thumbs up or, uh, you know, shout hooty hoo. Something. <laughs> hey, I need a dance break. Things and more. Oh, my phone died. Well, ain't that nothing? Yes, I do. Do you have title on your phone, mother? What's... Give me your phone. <laughs> give me your phone. <laughs> Now, <laughs> Lord, y'all, please I'll help my mama, please. And your battery is on eleven percent. What's your uh? It's okay. I see you, Kevin Brazil. That thumbs up. Why he found it yet? Child, what you looking for? YouTube. Uh, your phone is actually at eleven percent. That's okay. Okay, let me turn this back on so your phone can. Scan. Come on. Because that, you know, my phone is really rude. Y'all know how much I love Stevie Wonder. And it cut off during a Stevie Wonder song. Like, that's beyond disrespectful. So we're going to find that song. Oh, Mark's came out. Mark, yours look good, man. Okay. All right, mommy, where on earth is your YouTube? Oh, now who needs help? Auntie, oh, I found it. Got it? Sit down. I'll steal some of your green while I'm at. That's fine. Thief. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. That's, ah, that's what Christmas means to me, my love. There you go. I need a dance break. All right. I see two thumbs, but I got five people on oh, there. Yeah. Dance break. Lots of snow and ice everywhere we go. Why you singing carols? Come on, y'all. It's a celebration. Don't fill the cups back up. I'm still sipping a binder. Oh my god, mama. Why your thumbs up not melanated like Marks and Darby or Why Oh, 
All right. We lady AC, I see you. All right. Yes, hey, hey. Oh, y'all don't say that's my boy. I love me some Stevie Wonder, y'all. <laughs> Oh, YouTube and your ads. Please stop with the nonsense. Okay. So, guys, you have made it to the last step. Round of applause. Woo! You made it. So, mom, mom, <laughs> what do you mean almost? <laughs> Oh my God! How are you the host mother? And you, can't... I got the tree. I got the air. Let's go down. Bless her heart, y'all. Bless her heart. Okay. I want y'all to take that medium-sized brush again. Dip it in your silver or whatever like glitter paint you have. And if you want to take a touch of that yellow, I would suggest taking like the very skinny brush you have and dipping it in the yellow and outlining. So what we're going to do, we're going to return to our swoops. Those should be totally dry. And we're just going to add what I call a little razzle dazzle. So you're just going to go over it lightly with your, um, I'm using um, a little silver paint. You know what? Let me get my other paint. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. It has a little more sparkle. This one is pretty, but it's more of a satin silver, whereas I really want a sparkle. So I'll probably mix a bit of the two. But this is what I call the razzle dazzle. And you're just lightly going over each little swoop and adding that razzle dazzle. Am I okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were signaling me. No, it's my hair. Oh. Yeah, me, you both should have pinned our hair back. I'm hot. Yeah, my hair is everywhere. But I might be hot because of this uh, it's s'mores. Into a grown up s'mores. My adult s'more. <laughs> that adult s'more is smacking, though. Y'all see that? It it has some sh Shasta. Who? Fanta. Fanta. Oh, God. Strawberry lemonade. I mean, I could have made you a strawberry lemonade. I ain't talking about that cake. It would have been virgin. Let me make sure. Uh-oh, my uh, razzle-dazzle is running. That's why I said do it lightly, y'all, because it will run, depending on what kind of uh, glitter paint that you have. So go light. You don't need too much. Unless you just want to sparkle. That's okay. Tis the season for everything sparkly. Let me make sure. Let me turn mine towards the light so I know. Okay, yeah, see, I haven't gotten all of it. It's okay if you go outside the lines a little bit. Because when you think about like a shooting star, that's, you know, like the burning gas, some of it like is a bit trans, uh, like lucent, so it's slightly see through. So that's okay if it um doesn't cover, it doesn't uh, stay inside the swoop specifically. Just make sure that it's light.
And I'm even gonna put a little razzle dazzle on the center. Very light though, because I don't want to disrupt the paint that's already there. Any last song requests as we wait for everybody to finish up? Silent Night. Silent Night by the Temptations, yeah, Mama. Yeah. Well, Mama has spoken. Y'all know, because in my mind. In my mind. <laughs> First, the word from our sponsors. With Ambetter, you get reliable oh my Lord. coverage. They offer plans with low premium and better low deductibles. I mean, thank and you, because we can skip the ad. You know, YouTube can be very raggedy sometimes. <laughs> there you go. Smoking Robinson in my mouth. In my mind. You know what I'm talking about. Let me grab my bike. You want to go to Mike, Mama? Christ, Christ, 
Y'all better grab your fake mics and get on. Okay, I know. All right, I'm going to turn this on down. So before we do the draw, I got a little story about this song. And I was about nine years old. Oh, God. I was in, uh, I volunteered to sing for a Christmas program. And during the rehearsal, let's just say my rendition of Silent Night just wasn't it. It was not it, y'all. Oh, you know what? It's raggedy, raggedy speaker. It does this train sound when it's about to die. I'm going to cut that off. So after this rehearsal that I bombed, y'all, I, I bombed it. I bombed it. My mom, you know, I said, we were in the kitchen. I used to sit and watch her cook. And she's like, Kristen, you know, you need, but we're going to change up your silent night, boo boo. I'm going to teach you a rendition of my own. So I said, a silent night, silent night, holy night. She said, Kristen, sing a silent night, holy night. And instead of saying, all is calm, she said, and sing, sing it, all is bright. <laughs> Not knowing I'm about to go to this church function, mind you, church, <laughs> and sing the Temptations version of the song at the church banquet. <laughs> Now, I got a standing ovation, but I didn't know she had me singing the second version of the Silent Night. You know, I sounded good, but Mama, shame. How are you going to have me singing the Temptations version at a church yes, function? I had to put some soul in it. That's what happens when you read your kids in Marietta. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got no soul in the song, but I got my soul, baby. I said, oh, no, that ain't going to work. I sang that Silent Night. Yeah, you can show your picture. Before let me, I'm gonna let mom show her picture y'all. Then we're gonna do this drawing because I know y'all are anxious. You got a vest, y'all. Look, she got a vest. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I ain't say nothing about putting the vest on, but that's fine. No one that took us along. She ain't following directions. <laughs> All right, let's see who the lucky winner of the second adult drawing is. All right. Let me pick it. You want to pick it, mama? Yeah. Come on. Shake it up again. I'm going to let you shake it. Because you got to shake it, then take, then uh, pick. Shake it, then pick it. Because you like it. Come on the camera so they can see you. Oh, my gosh. Let me move this back. Hey, y'all. Let me move Ooh, this my, back. My hair kind of ready. Oh, you wasted water. Come on. Okay. okay. So I shook it up. Close my eyes. Oh, okay. okay. Now we're going to unfold. Let's see who we got. And the winner is y'all wait, don't you? Mama, would you take a Uh oh, it's a Kelvin Bazil. And I didn't do that on purpose. That was not on purpose. It's just y'all looking at it. I see. So Kelvin Bazil, you are the lucky recipient of a ten dollar Michaels gift card. Yeah, we Woo! know gonna go with no Reno. Right, we know who this going to. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mom, where you put his sticky notes? I can put this. Oh, back there behind you. Oh, Jesus. In the pain? Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Well, hold on. Hold on. All right. Well, guys, I... Well, let me show y'all my finished product. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! If you took any pictures tonight, um, be sure to send them to me. You can use the Eventbrite link or um, just send it to my email. A lot of y'all have my cell phone number, so you can text it to me. Um, or send it through my social media at Chris uh, at Kristen the Maverick or at Adi Body Girl, Adi Body, excuse me. Um, but thanks for tuning in, you guys. I had a really good we're time. Again. Yes, we're going to do this again. Um, I had planned to host a couple more free ones. Um, there will be some paid ones in the future, but thankfully, with the paid ones, I'll be sending you all the supplies. Um, hopefully, whenever COVID clears up. We'll be able to do this in person. For all of my people that are tuning in who are um, who may not know me personally, I am located in Georgia. Um, but guys, thanks so much. I'm grateful for your support. Have a good night. Um, happy holidays and Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa to you. Bye and cheers. <laughs>